Hey, I just wanted to show a few of my instrument prototypes that I've been making in Dreams on PS4. Um, the, they are just prototypes. Uh, some things are placeholder, namely sound quality, uh, like the trumpet and the violin, namely. Um, some of the clips I'm playing a song, some of them I'm just showing what it can do. Um, so this isn't a final video, but rather just uh, an update on progress, I guess. Uh, Anyway, hope you uh, hope you enjoy. This first instrument I'm about to show off, the trumpet, uh, is the first one that I've made. Uh, and I've learned a few techniques since making this that I'm going to go back uh, and tinker with uh, the trumpet to enhance it some. Um, right now the effect of like moving my thumb to move the, the, uh, the thumbsticks to like change the pitch or to flatten the notes, uh, that's a placeholder effect that I've now since figured out a way to, to work around uh, to make it more in line with how a trumpet actually functions. Anyway, this one uh, was my first one. This next one that I'm going to be showing here is my violin. Uh, it's probably the furthest along of all my instruments. Um, it definitely still needs some tinkering. The sound's a bit screechy. It doesn't sound like a natural violin, um, but still kind of proud of it. And here I am playing a song with it. This next clip is more of an experiment than an actual instrument. I took my dining room chair upside down on my living room floor, placed the DualShock uh, in, at the base of it, and a, a jammed a ruler under one side so that I could more easily detect uh, some of the vibrations. And I tuned into the nuances of the vibrations by tapping different points on the chair and plugged in different outputs uh, depending on where I hit it. Uh, the sounds are placeholder, The the setup is placeholder. It's it was incredibly incredibly sensitive to, to tune into, but still uh, kind of proud of the result. So I'm showing this too. This next clip is of my uh, xylophone which didn't take too long to set up. I've since kind of updated it from what you see in the clip. Um, still, I thought it was just kind of fun. Quick little project that uh, actually influenced some later projects as well. So here's that. So this next clip here is uh, definitely more of a proof of concept than a 
functioning instrument. Uh, the sound is roughly placeholder, um, but it's a trombone, uh, and it changes the note depending on how far the motion controller is, uh, but only plays when I blow into the microphone connected to the DualShock. Uh, this one's pretty fun, influenced some other instruments. Uh, yeah, enjoy. So the next clip here is of a harp that I made. Um, now, the technique that I used to make this has since been outclassed by something else uh, that I found with another instrument, uh, the guitar. Um, and so I'm going to go back and redo this one, but still uh, it shows that this works, that, you know, depending on how far the motion controller is, uh, determines, you know, when I pluck the string or flick the thumbstick, uh, what note plays. So this one, this one's kind of fun to do. Uh, looking forward to getting this one updated for sure. So this next clip uh, of the guitar, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of an early build for sure. Um, I need to sort of fine tune some of the detection zones and uh, some tweaks here and there. Uh, but I'm kind of proud of this one because I got the one of the thumbsticks on the DualShock that I'm holding at my hip functions like plucking the string. Uh, whereas the other thumbstick on the DualShock functions like a, like a whammy bar on the guitar and it can modulate the note. Um, the notes, uh, I need to tinker with and sort of be able to change how long it plays, um, as well as, like I was saying, the detection zones uh, of the motion controller. Uh, but still, uh, it kind of proves that it can work. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this one updated too, for sure. So this next clip uh, is of some bagpipes that I made. Now this one's got kind of a funny story attached to it. Uh, my mother on Twitter uh, commented on one of my posts uh, saying like, oh, next you should do bagpipes. And I'm pretty sure she was half joking, um, but still like got me thinking. And I was like, well, I think I can kind of get that to function. So uh, the, the bag can compress, but it only plays sound when it's been filled with air. The, the canter, or the chanter, I forget how to pronounce that. Um, the, the fingerings, as far as I can tell, are accurate for that scale, uh, but I need to tinker with that and sort of find a better, com a better button combination, uh, for sure. But uh, anyway, still, this one I'm, I'm kind of proud of. It was kind of a fun project. It took me a weekend to get together, but it was still pretty fun. Uh, yeah, enjoy. That doesn't do anything yet. So this next one here is of a harmonica that I've made. Uh, it plays one set of notes when I blow on the microphone, uh, but plays a different set if I uh, sort of suck against it. Uh, depending on the strength of the input to the microphone is kind of the trick I used for that. Um, it, it 
can't detect from what angle I'm blowing at, so instead I have it tuned to the angle of the controller, you know, determining which hole I'm blowing into. Um, this one is pretty fun to do. Uh, I had the idea while I was at work, and it came home and just like immediately started working on it and uh, got that up and running, so that was pretty fun. Enjoy. This next one here is of a jaw harp. Uh, my family had one of those uh, when I was growing up. I kind of messed around with it here and there. Um, it, it functions similar to one. Um, there are a couple of updates I want to add to it for sure. Uh, I kind of challenged myself a bit with this one because I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do it. Uh, but still, uh, I think I got pretty close. I'm kind of proud of it. Um, more to do yet, of course. Uh, but anyway, uh, here's this one. So this one's a, a bit crazier, but... So this last one that I'm showing here is of a drum kit that I made. Um, I put two dual shocks on the ground uh, and then some stiff but light cardboard um, resting up against the, uh, the thumbsticks. And I use uh, me pressing on that cardboard, which by extension presses the thumbsticks, as the, uh, the hi-hat and the, uh, the bass drum. Uh, this one was a lot of fun to do. Uh, there's a couple of updates that I, I want to bring to it, like uh, pinching the symbol, you know, like with a trigger pull and a face button press uh, when near the symbol, you know, to, to mute it. Um, plus, I hope uh, soon, eventually, that uh, there will be support for two move controllers in play mode. Uh, that way, you know, you can have two drumsticks, which would be uh, a lot of fun to do. Um, anyway, uh, enjoy. Open, but also can play closed. So yeah, those were some of my instrument prototypes. Um, I've certainly got more in the works. Uh, I've got a saxophone that I want to do. Um, it's kind of a roundabout way of doing uh, an organ. Uh, that should be pretty fun. Um, most of these, well, all of them, in fact, will we'll take some more updating before I take them out of prototype stage, for sure. Um, but still, uh, I'm looking forward to getting some higher quality sound, maybe like recording some instruments myself. Um, to be frank though, I don't play, <laughs> don't play most of them that I've made. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun to do, got more to do yet, uh, I'm having a blast doing it, so thanks for watching.